In this, we have to prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtend supplementary angle at the center of the circle. So understand, first of all, we are having a circle and which is formed inside a quadrilateral. So let's say this is a quadrilateral and inside this we are having a circle. So let me form the circle first. I believe I would be able to draw the circle perfectly fine. Yeah, this is the circle. I hope you can assume this to be a circle. In this circle, what they are saying that the angle subtended by the opposite sides of the quadrilateral. For example, I give the name to this quadrilateral that is A, B, C, D. Alright, so A, B, C, D is here. Center will be O. So opposite side is what? A, B opposite to C, D, right? So angle A, O, B, angle A, O, B would be angle A, O, B and angle C, O, D angle C O D they will be supplementary that means what you need to prove that angle A O B plus angle C O D will be equal to 180 degree this is what you need to prove right now for proving this part we have to do some construction what construction sir we have to join with the center these point where the touching of the circle is happening this point this point from the center if this is O so I hope you assume this is O so from the center you have to touch all the points which are joining the circle and give them a name so for example i give a name p q r s now since i have joined it what i'll be doing i'll be uh, just naming all of the angles so the name of the angle which i'm giving is this is one this is two this is three this is four five six seven and finally eight and I, I hope you know that this is O, this is O the center. Now, in this particular case, if you observe again, the same kind of a thing, which was we are dealing with the tangent part. So from point A, from point A, which is external point to the circle, we are having two tangents that is AS and AP, right? AS and AP. So I'll be using this property, AP will be equal to AS, right? And similarly, AP, sorry, AO is a side length which is common AO is equal to AO I can say that another thing is another thing is OP OP and OS would be equal why sir that will be because they both are radius right they both are radius so this is about the triangles two triangles I am dealing with one triangle is AOP and uh, triangle AOP and another triangle and another triangle is my triangle of AOS triangle AOS in these two triangle all the three sides we have Prove to be equal to the corresponding triangle. Once we have done, so I can prove the congruency. I can say that triangle AOP is congruent to triangle AOS. AOS, right? Once I have done this congruency, then one thing becomes easy for me to that so as to prove that angle one would be angle two, angle eight. Why? CP, CT, corresponding part of corresponding triangles. So one is equal to eight. Similarly, similarly, same I can go on repeating. Similarly, I can go on repeating for triangle POB and BOQ. And in that triangle, what will be coming out? Angle 2 will be equal to angle 3. Similarly, in the other triangle of COQ and COR, we will be having angle 4. Angle 4 and 5 equals to angle 5 equal to angle 4. And finally, we will have one more. That means angle 6 will be equal to angle 7. Right? All this we can prove. Once we are done with proving all this, then what we have to do is the center. How, what angle would be made at the center? Always one three sixty degrees made. So angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four plus angle five plus angle six, seven and eight. They all will be having a sum of three sixty degree because angle the center is three sixty degree. I can write this in this manner that angle one and angle eight are equal. So I'll replace angle eight by the name angle one. Angle 2 will remain as it is. Angle 3 can be written as angle 2. Angle 4 I know is equal to angle 5. Angle 5. Angle 6 over here is angle uh, 6 can be written as angle 6. Angle 7 can be written as angle 6. This is angle over here. Uh, 8 can be written as angle 1 equal to 360. So basically what is happening? 2 2 times they are repeated. So what 2 times are repeated? Angle 1 is repeated. Angle 2 is repeated. Angle 5 is repeated, angle 6 is repeated, angle 6, all these are forming 360 degree. So if I have to say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6, all these are forming what? 180 degree. And what is angle 1 plus angle 2? I hope you see that angle AOB and angle 5 plus 6, angle COD, they both are forming 180 degree. So that means they are forming a complementary angle. Both the sum is 180 degree and this is what we need to prove. And we are done with the proof. So this is how you need to proceed with the question, an important question can be repeated multiple places.